Hello there, thanks for tuning in. This is a video to show the Deep Tech Vista RG1000 in action. Uh, I was given this by a guy in our metal detecting club who had it sent by Deep Tech to do a bit of a test on. Um, admittedly, compared to a lot of so called modern detectors, it looks a bit basic. But the most important thing is what's in here, the guts of the machine. Can it find good coins? Will it eliminate trash? And will you enjoy using it? If you stay tuned, you'll find out. First dig. Got no way of knowing how deep this is. And it's a big old bullet. Get in there. Second dig of the day, and it's a 1919 shilling. God, it took me all day to find silver the last time I was out, and that was with the E track. That's awesome. Very good. It was about six, seven inches deep as well, so it was a reasonable depth. Gave a nice clear signal. I'm pleased with that. I don't believe it. <laughs> Why can't I do this with my detector? This is the strange thing. I must just have hit a hot spot. This is a bit that I haven't done yet. But uh, there's a 1943 sixpence, which is quite a small coin. Um, stone probably is about seven inches or so. And the machine still gave a reasonable signal. It was a little bit fainter than the last one. But um, still give a pretty good signal. Certainly, you know, a signal worthy of a dig and a dig worthy of silver. Excellent. It's an old toothpaste tube by the looks of it. That gave a good signal. Right. With this machine, I've been in this tiny little area here, from where those daffodils are, to roughly here. I found three coins, two of which were silver, a couple of bullets, um, and there's another signal here. Don't know what it is yet, but um, it seems to be a hell of a lot just in this little area. And it, I haven't dug any um, rubbish yet, no rusty iron. So hopefully this won't be rusty iron. And it's another one of those big old bullets. So still no rusty iron. I've got the discrimination set at about 15, 20%. So far it's working very well. Nice strong signal. So give it a dig.
actually a washer that. I don't know whether it's been zinc coated at some time, but I would have expected it to reject that. Although I've got the discrimination set very low, so I suppose it can be forgiven. This is another very strong signal. There's a mark of a coin there, so I think this is the first. Yep, yeah, this is the first copper of the day. George V, half penny. In reasonable condition. And this one is a more modern sixpence. 1948, no silver, hence the terrible condition. Another stable, strong two-way signal. So, give this one a dig as well. Well, I can see straight away, this is silver as well. There it is. And it's a sixpence again. That one's a good six, seven inches down. It's lying flat, so obviously it's going to give a better signal than if it's on its side. But uh, for a little, little thin sixpence made of silver, in six or seven inches of soil, that gave a very, very good signal. This signal isn't as strong. No. In fact, it's very faint. But it's still saying there's something there, so I'm going to give it a dig and see what's there. And yet another coin, another threepenny bit, at about six inches or so. Not bad. Lump of lead can be forgiven for that. That's a two two bullet casing. <laughs> that, honestly, I do not believe it. Another piece of silver, a nineteen eighteen sixpence. Another sixpence, not silver unfortunately, but a very small coin, approximately six inches depth. Right, I've been using this in discrimination mode with very little discrimination. You can see there, that goes all the way around to there. I don't like to run with much discrimination. Sensitivity is pretty high, volume's all the way up because I'm not using headphones uh, for the purposes of this test. Um, so I've had the discrimination on and this is quite a choppy signal it doesn't sound as clean as the other ones so switching to all metal you notice there's a lower tone coming in there now not being familiar with this machine I can't say exactly for sure what's under the ground I would imagine that it was iron, rusty iron of some sort so I'm going to give it a dig. And it's a fairly well rusted 2-2 shell. So 
the audio on that wasn't as clear and when I switched to all metal it gave the lower tones which I don't know I maybe shouldn't dig the lower tones I haven't been digging them so far but I was I was not gonna dig that but I thought I would just for the purpose of a, a test it turns out to be rubbish here's another sort of a nasty signal very choppy and intermittent not as smooth as some of those other ones so by switching to all metal I can check if whatever's given the signal is actually registering in the discriminated part hear the lower tone all metal and although I've only used this machine for 45 minutes maybe I'll bet that there's rubbish under there big lump of rusted iron obviously no need to dig that the machine was telling me not to dig it but by switching to all metal I checked realized it was rubbish didn't need to dig it good discrimination dear God I do not believe it yet another silver sixpence 1921 George V very good indeed that one again about six inches old half penny approximately six inches deep Ah, big old penny. 1919, George V. I was wondering when the big pennies were going to make an appearance. Normally, I find more of these than anything. This is the first one I've found so far. But I don't really care because I found so much silver. Ooh, big old lump of coke. <laughs> big lump of coke that gave a really good signal it's actually the first bit of coke I've dug on this site the big old penny early 1900s oh actually it's not early 1900s I was just guessing there it's actually a late Victoria in reasonable condition and the date is 1900 another big old penny there uh, whose is this one? Ah, I can't see 1928 must be George V so there's an old penny here, George V this dig here was a Victorian penny and that dig there was a milk bottle top so fairly close proximity target ID very good oh, hey <laughs> two for the price of one that's the first twos I've had today big old Edward the what's that sixth or was he the seventh I forget Edward the seventh so very early 1900s and that one looks worn away to now so probably about the same age or older another old half penny George the fifth 1912 half penny George the fifth half penny that's interesting there's a rock here which 
which is given a reading, hot rock of some sort. There's also an old penny. Still gave a good signal, even though there was a rock in the hole. Another half penny, George V. Big old lump of copper. Another huge lump of coke. George the sixth penny. 1950, can't be right, 1957. 1937. And another one. 1921, George V. Here's one the moles have been kind enough to dig up. 1945 shilling, George VI. That gave a strange signal, that one. This is the mole hill where I found that shilling. Gone back over it again and there's another signal. That's probably why it was given a strange signal the first time. Yep, George V, half penny. That was in the ground. The, six, uh, the, the shilling was on the top next to it. That's probably why it gave a strange signal. Absolute craziness. I was just walking back, because I'm actually late for where I need to be today. Carrying the machine alongside me. Found a 1944 sixpence. I've now found more silver than I found on any other day. And I think I've only been here about two and a half hours. I'm very, very, very impressed. So, I've been here about two and a half hours. This is the machine I normally use, E-Track with an 18 by 15 coil. This is the machine I've been using today, the V-Star G1000. And I found more silver today than I found any other days. May have just hit lucky, lucky spots. Maybe the machine, I don't know. But I don't know whether there's eight, seven or eight silver coins, pennies, a lot of good finds. There's another two silver in here. A lot of good finds and hardly any trash. Big lump of coke there, don't need that. It's a bottle I found, not with the detector. So these are the finds. A lot of good finds. Found that ring earlier on, that was with the other detector, in a different part of the field. That's really the only trash that I've dug for all of that. Very, very good. Um, and to be honest, I probably would have dug half this trash with the E-Track. So that's the copper. And they're all silver. Very good hunt. Now when I got this machine, it's uh, actually come with a little coil, about five inches, which I imagine would be very good for doing contaminated parks. Um, this coil looks to be 10, 11 inches, and it was getting down to a reasonable depth, and it found lots of good finds today, so I'm very impressed. Um, sixpence, shilling, sixpence, 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 shilling. All silver, old pennies ranging from Victoria through to George the Sixth. Uh, half pennies, most of them I haven't even bothered cleaning up. Be the same sort of era. Two bullets, an arrow tip, a modern one though. Two threepenny bits, two modern sixpences, which are pretty manky, and a little button. Very very little trash, Doug, and proportionally a lot of silver. The most silver I've found in a whole day's hunt is six. I managed seven in two and a half hours with that machine. Don't know whether I hit a hot spot or what, but uh, I'm very impressed.